It's day three here at the suspect's property just outside of Rochester. You can see behind me that the crews are starting to clear out. The Thurston County Sheriff's Office has help from state and federal organizations and local search and rescue teams here searching for clues. Very fluid investigation, but it's a very long and tedious investigation. Tedious and meticulous investigators literally sifting through dirt looking for any clue to determine what happened to Nancy Moyer. Since Wednesday, detectives have been scouring the property connected to a man police say admitted to killing her 10 years ago. Deputies say they're getting help from the FBI and the state patrol, plus the state is helping them identify possible evidence. Sending to Washington State Patrol Crime Lab for identification. But we, right now, it's just items. On Thursday, the property owner faced a judge who found probable cause to hold him on a million and a half dollars bail. Q13 News has not named or identified him yet since he's not been officially charged in the case, but court documents allege he admitted to accidentally killing Moyer. He uh, has made some, um, made some statements and uh, we're acting on those statements that he's made. Moyer's disappearance has been a mystery since 2009. She left her home one night without taking personal belongings. The cold case blew wide open this week when one of Moyer's old co-workers allegedly told detectives he was involved in her disappearance. Moyer's then nine-year-old daughter, Samantha, says the past decade has been hard. I've struggled a lot. Growing up without a mom sucks, especially when you don't know where she is. Now, this suspect, he's yet to be officially charged in this case, but he could be facing a second-degree murder charge. His arraignment is scheduled for later this month. In Thurston County, Steve Kiggins, Q13 News.